Howdy, 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 my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, Capricorn, for July today, all right? So if you enjoy this tarot reading here, be sure to let me know, Capricorn, in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates, because that's how I keep up with y'all. So well, be sure to check out the top right-hand corner of your screen, Capricorn, because I leave a link to your monthly tarot reading. Now, darling, as well, I would appreciate it if you're enjoying this vibe, Capricorn. Hit that like button as well as hit subscribe. It's completely free to do, Capricorn, and it helps me out a lot when you do that uh for my channel all right so when it comes to re consuming tarot readings today capricorn all right to be sure to check out more than just your zodiac sign check out your sun moon rising as well as your venus sign capricorn all right that's how you make these general tarot readings on youtube work for you all right so let's just get right into your tarot reading here today capricorn all right we're, and we're going to be doing three rows for you your first row is going to be talking about your financial as well as your career situation going on right now capricorn all right and then today in your second row it's going to be talking about your social life so this could be your family platonic romantic honey all right just your social life capricorn all right and then in your third row we're just going to be getting into some general tarot messages that you need to hear today capricorn all right so let's just get right into this tarot reading honey today and get started with the back of the deck energy which is the eight of wands for you here all right capricorn i see movement some of you guys capricorn might be planning a move or starting to get this um desire to move some of you guys might be uh capricorn as well changing jobs i see some type of shift going on in your life here all right i'm being shown like a i don't know why but it's like a like a rock wall stone wall slowly just being nudged along all right very much so like old school like mario where it's just like those like i don't know but uh yeah for you right now here capricorn movement is happening in all facets of your life here this eight of wands is a card of experimentation but it also talks about trying to get the ball going here so in your in your career in your financial life here you might have been going through a type of financial block recently capricorn i see you guys making a breakthrough with that but it's due to the connections that you have all right i definitely see that it's due to who you know it's due to the networking like yeah very much so um I really want to be stressing because I feel like I always say this for you, Capricorn. I always feel as if there's someone around you that you haven't tuned into. All right. And so I'm going to like, I'm going to just say it again because my regulars know Capricorn. I've been saying this for a while now for you. It's just like this network network in regards to people in your life here. I see you guys transitioning out of um, getting out of a situation that was very bittersweet for you, but you needed to leave because that's like it was doing an injustice to your energy. I feel like that's going to be balancing itself out, but you're going to be meeting someone shortly after to that transition darling all right so overall really solid energy here i'm really excited about what's going to be happening for you capricorn so let's get into this here getting into your career and financial you have the two as well as page of wands coming in here with the two of cups all right remembering that it's the eight of wands influence here so as i was saying beforehand for you capricorn all right it's more about who you know here someone this week is going to be coming forth with an opportunity or with an idea capricorn that would be really profitable for you all right it's like this is something completely new to you because of this page of wands energy pages is that new energy here all right it's like who you know someone is going to be coming forward to you with either like a business idea a creative idea here pay attention to the words people are speaking because it's like they're that's how your spiritual team is trying their best to communicate with you currently capricorn is through other people so you might be noticing that you're this week that a lot of people start talking about wanting to do youtube or tiktok or maybe you wanted to always do like something with baking or something like that like you're being left clues from people around you to further elevate your career and your business situation here for you all right i see very strongly for you guys here capricorn for many of you guys you've been trying to manifest something new for yourself here like a new job like something that gives you more passion i feel as well I just get movement here a lot uh, for you, but I'm really excited about this because I get for many of you Capricorns, some of you guys have been really just feeling called like I get like a complete 180 in a shift. Like some of you guys might have been working like an office job and then you're just feeling called to be like, a I don't know, like a stripper, honey. All right. Nothing wrong with being a stripper. All right. It's like I feel like this very polarizing desires that you have now. All right. 
Now, in your social life here, as well as the heart of your energy, you have the Six of Swords here. So you are leaving. There's a lot of bittersweet situations that you're moving on from, all right? Even in regards to your career, uh, Capricorn, you might have been finding yourself needing to, like, just move on from what it, where it is that you're working. Sure, it may have paid, paid the bills, but, like, just your soul, your inside might have been feeling as if it's slowly dying because of it here. Now, going back into the social aspect, Knight of Cups, Six of Swords, Justice Energy, I feel as if there's someone that you you have been in the process of just emotionally disconnecting yourself from Capricorn because it's just been too taxing for you, all right? With this justice energy, it's like the more that you continue entertaining that energy, the more it was just taxing. There's some type of relationship that just was doing you a disservice, taking you for granted, or just not like you were just losing you weren't gaining anything out of it that you're walking away from but i see you with that movement once again capricorn you start meeting someone new all right you know i know i'm not crazy with this capricorns so much so often now your readings seem to be focusing in on the social aspect so due to this here I really want to be suspecting that there's someone in your life that's being placed in your life that has been placed. I want to correct myself here. That has been placed in your life that is that you're meant to be working with, that you're meant to exist in this lifetime with for whether whether it's in regards to some of you Capricorns, it's just going to be just in the career aspect. For others of you Capricorns, it's just someone that you need to meet and be an acquaintance with because this person plays a very pivotal role in your life here. All right. You're, if you're noticing how you're finding yourself in this consistent loop with some facet of your life capricorn that is because spirit is consistently trying to get you into contact with this knight of cups ask yourself who is it that you haven't been giving enough time to and hearing them out who have you kind of been ignoring that's made appearances in your life this is like newer energy all right this is not something that you have a history with here all right um so definitely be aware about that this week capricorn now in regards to your general predictions today all right for july capricorn you have the ace of swords the magician energy with the death card coming in here very fitting for you also keep in mind remember once again this eight of wands for you capricorn movement 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 it's movement that's happening through your own personal creative ideas here i see my Cap Capricorn is getting greatly rewarded through following with their intuition here and taking matters into their own hands, right? With that magician there. Like this magician Ace of Swords energy is like an energy where you can't really fail. All right. I see for you guys, you guys are stepping into this new period for yourself where again you're closing the chapter uh, from a lot of things especially with people here i feel like you are no longer having the sense of like responsibility as you're letting go of the sense of responsibility that you had towards other people because now you're just putting more of a focus just on your life you're more so at this place to be like all right you know time for a change in a lot of aspects for you you might capricorn due to this um, uh, not this emperor due to this magician energy you might have just now recently kind of like gotten to this place of being feeling a lot more empowered all right you started like you probably had a pep talk with yourself and be like wait a minute i'm i'm capricorn honey why are you taking me for granted don't you know who i am darling all right you're probably finding yourself feeling a lot more confident than what you usually are if you're not feeling confident at this time i feel like it's due to the people or situations in your life that you are still keeping yourself around capricorn that's what i'm noticing here some of you guys are in like the cesspool of energy capricorn where you're starting to think that it's something that's going on with you or something that's negative with you if you've been noticing that you've just been dealing with like a bunch of bad luck you've been waking up and you've just been having like depression like what have you it's not because of something that's going on with you internally capricorn i mean obviously with the depression and stuff like that that's like an internal battle but it's just because of your environment you know some of you capricorns you're just like man do i need to go to therapy or well, while i'm a bit i feel like everyone should go to therapy but it's like you feel as if you're diagnosing yourself now with these things capricorn because of how you're reacting to your environment but it's quite literally your environment that's making you react in certain ways it's not that you are the way that you are that sounds so weird. It's not as like, I just feel as if for you, Capricorn, there's just so much of your environment or so much of what is around you right, right now, Capricorn, greatly influences how you see yourself, how you interact with the world around you and what you do. And so if you're noticing still just that heavy energy, take yourself out of that cesspool see where it is that you need to just disconnect yourself from capricorn all right with that six of swords energy all right but movement is so much movement is happening for you capricorn so much movement so let's start getting the clarifiers today for your career 
and financial situation capricorn what's going on here king of wands in the back of the deck page of cups that there is that emperor energy that i was saying darling right so king of wands in the back of the deck here capricorn all right i see whatever opportunities that you're going to be going into next there's a lot more responsibility placed onto you for those capricorns that really want to tune into doing something more passionate oriented right if you want to just like you maybe like you maybe you're watching this getting ready for your work shift right and you're just telling yourself it's like man i really don't want to do this job for much longer here for those capricorns that are ready to p put on more responsibility on themselves to lead in that passion leading with a vision even if other people are not agreeing with it that's where the rewards are that's where the abundance comes in here but for many of you capricorns you need to challenge yourself and being a little bit more unapologetically yourself here stop being so, so shy with what it is that you want to do emperor energy here i misspoke about it earlier with the magician but the a magician honey the emperor the king of wands they all share this energy of um unapologetic unapologetic uh what is the word unapologetic it's not individualism Un unapologetic independence there we go unapologetic unapologetic independence not being ashamed for what it is that you want to do remove the shame you know just because you no longer want to do that desk job and you want to do like having an etsy store darling stop worrying about the perceptions of other people because that's where the opportunities come in for you what's next for your storyline here doors start opening like all this new energy opens up for you here many of your many of you capricorns right now your path is directly aligned with the sense of doing something new you're feeling this the sense of like restlessness because where it is that you've been working but how you've been getting your money just isn't fulfilling you all right it may be paying the bills some of the bills but it's not fulfilling you all right so the more that you are unapologetically yourself capricorn the better success you're going to be having that's how you find the right people that help you out all right mm -mm. so now let's get into your social life here clarifying that knight of cups justice energy with the six of swords here ten of wands here eight of swords with the moon energy back of the deck the temperance card coming in here you guys were way too patient with somebody all right i feel like for you capricorn you have been way too patient with somebody because you have been banking on the potential you have a they have a soft spot in your heart for you like you have a soft spot for them in your heart here like you were giving somebody way too many chances here to the point of where it was doing nothing but taxing on you nothing but taxing on you self-limiting to you here capricorn i don't know i just get like the sense for you, many of you guys you guys are finally releasing the chains releasing the grip that some type of relationship has had held over you in quite some time here all right and for you it's like with this new sound found sense of freedom you realize just how taxing that connection was all right maybe it initially i'm sure this connection wasn't initially as taxing and toxic that it is for you and your lifestyle and your energy now maybe it wasn't like that in the past but now for you you are just like again it's like the sense of where it's just like because you help out so many other people capricorn because there's just the people in your life that are so reliant or dependent on you but they don't um it's not reciprocal it's not balanced right you have to make the hard choice of being like hey you know i love you i know on some level you love me but i can't be doing the things that i used to be doing for you anymore i can't be always the one messaging you because as simple as it is it's emotionally taxing to try to message you and you don't respond right or whatever the case is uh -uh. king of swords here nine of swords coming in for your general predictions as well as the knight of pentacles coming in here so for right now for you capricorn i see you guys the biggest thing that you need to be watching for is just like your anxiety you're overthinking here the mental mastery is what you need to be working on here all right stop being stressed about how you're going to get to the destination and just take it day by day don't be spooking yourself out you know for example for the career if you're wanting to do like that etsy store don't spook yourself out from the journey that you're going to be having to take all the under uh, the undertaking you're about to be taking on learning how to run a business and all that right don't overwhelm yourself with the logistics and what you have to learn just take it day by day all right because that's where i see what's happening here for you capricorn it's just like you guys end up limiting yourself because you guys spook yourself before you even start the journey and so then you don't get to really do what it is that you want to do because you always spook yourself out the thing about it is capricorn everything is a risk no one does anything no one ha d has done anything with complete confidence that it's always going to work out all right i don't care what it is there's always like that small percentage chance where anything could go wrong when i started doing tarot honey i didn't know i was going to work out i had to take that leap of faith and commit myself to it and taking it day by day all right 
<clears throat> so just to wrap up your tarot reading this week here capricorn y'all might be dealing with a libra by the way you got the justice energy here and then we have the full moon in libra finding a balance finding a balance when it comes to being cautious but as well as being bold and daring all right finding a balance when it comes to being a people pleaser but finding the balance as well when it comes to honoring your own energy as well all right finding that balance that's really your theme for this week but capricorn this is the weekly tarot reading that i have for you today darling all right hopefully you this july reading helpful remember on the top right hand corner of the screen i have my monthly tarot reading for capricorns if you want to book a private reading with me capricorn my links are down below my website rather is simply velka dot com next my social medias tiktok and instagram both which are just simply velka same as here darling are linked next to it all right so i love you so much capricorn and hopefully i get to connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling <laughs>